Hello, this is Bill Wimsatt with Wells Landis Group with part two of my presentation on an approach and demonstration for business and enterprise architecture. Today I'm going to focus on applying the principles of portfolio management. With portfolio management, we want to ensure that we have the right mix of investments to maximize overall returns. We also want to ensure that risks posed in the portfolio a balance for the expected value and the strategic goals identified. We want to ensure that we have coherent strategies for maintenance and modernization based on value to the business, cost, and complexity. Finally, we want to make sure that we're aligned with business goals throughout the execution. The platform that I'm using for portfolio management is IBM Rational's Focal Point. Here we see a home page which has three major portfolios, maintenance and utilities, enhancement and improvements, and transformational. It's being measured across five different axes. Efficiency, value to the business, financial attractiveness, alignment to the mission, and risk. These are just some, some example uh, decision axes that you may have within Focal Point. It's actually a very flexible platform that allows you to do portfolio management, plan management, and resource management. It also brings in that all-important collaboration and communication portion so that you can share with stakeholders and have multiple parties involved in the, in the decisioning process. When you're looking at your portfolio, there's a lot of different aspects to it. There's the project portfolio, the schedule and execution of things. There's also the application portfolio. What are the technical assets that make up, that make up your business? Here on the left hand side, I see an example of some of those different objects that I can use for managing and assessing my portfolio. I've got investments, projects, milestones, systems, services, data elements, all different items that I have available to me. Some of this information I can pull from a tool such as System Architect, which I talked about in part one. I can pull application services, applications, enterprise data elements to use as assessments for my application portfolio. When you're looking at your portfolio, you want to be able to look at those different axes to make sure that you have the right mix of investments. For, for example, in this diagram, I'm showing IT efficiency versus business value. The size of the bubble is the financial attractiveness. I have several different projects here identified and I can choose which of those items I want to be in a proposed in my proposed investment strategy and as I select those different items it's identifying for me how I'm doing against IT efficiency business value and financial attractiveness selecting the right mix to assure that I'm meeting my goals for those different items is a part of your portfolio management strategy to get those to get to those values for making decisions requires a couple different types of measurement techniques. One technique within the focal point platform is pairwise comparisons. It allows you to do a direct comparison between two different items, business processes or in this case applications, and what the goal of that comparison is going to be. Then the decision maker can make a relative comparison and decide which is more important according to whatever that item is. So in this case, which item has more impact to developing process policies and procedures to guide expansion. Another technique, technique might be a survey. Ask direct questions with identified mitigation or uh, risk uh, values assigned, assigned to those questions so that you can come up with an overall value based on, based on the survey outcome. Ultimately, through the different techniques of prioritization and decision making, you'll come up with different values, such as here we can see an IT efficiency, a business value, and a risk ranking. That information is where the ultimate decisions are made. That information can be then pulled back to System Architect so that your architects and your business planners from the architectural side can use the information from the decision port of the DID, of the DID framework in order to execute and assure that we have business plans and business architectures that meet our needs in the future.